Hey guys, welcome back to Mark White's RCs. This is Alethea, my daughter. Hello guys. Uh, today on the bench we have a Hobeo DC1 110 scale full build kit. Uh, in this kit comes full metal bearings, gearing, the, the whole lot. I'm just going to show you the side so we can get cut this short. Beautiful looking kit, absolutely fantastic. Um, so with this kit guys, uh, we are, the motor that we are running is a brushed motor, 35 turn. Getting nice and close. Yeah, that's fantastic. And a Etronics performance servo. So if I show you the back guys, and then you can see all the babble. Happy with that. We'll also be running a Hobby Wing Crawler Brushed ESC. 2S LiPo and the controller. We'll be running Fly Sky. So guys, that's pretty much what's in the kit. Um, a little bit beyond it is we normally build uh, Tamiya cars normally. Uh, we felt like we needed a bit of a change. Went to a few places to see if we can get something a bit different. Uh, and we ended up over at uh, Red Finn um, in Hertfordshire. Uh, met a guy, Jason, the owner. Fantastic people. Couldn't make us more welcome if they tried. Um, I told him what I was looking for. I didn't really have a budget, but I wanted something that was a bit more difficult in the build. Um, and he gave me a few suggestions. The one that stuck out the most, we, me and Alethea both like a crawler, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I, I purchased the parts of Jason, and, and it's time to get it built. So what I'll do, guys, in, in, in the build, if I find anything that I find really difficult, then obviously I'll, I'll video that bit and put this in the video. So if any of you guys ever see one, want one, and, and don't know how to get past that bit, hopefully I can help you out. Um, failing that, if there's no problems, the next time you'll see me is we'll be driving it around the woods and getting it dirty and messy and get it over some of them rocks. So see you shortly, guys. So guys, I'm halfway through the build now. Um, as you can see, I've done the motor install, uh, the ESCs, um, just give it a little bit of flip over. Quite a lot of bits and pieces have been installed now. Um, I'll be honest, guys, I've, I've, I've had quite, quite a few issues, not um, with the builders in, you know, the quality of the build. The build quality is fantastic. Um, I will say, you know, with this car, I did choose a harder kit um, than, you know, these guys. They, they, they were very simple. Um, however, she is proving to be a little bit more difficult. And that's, that's not a bad thing. I've enjoyed the fact that it is difficult um, in some respects. My only advice during this build, uh, and any of you guys that uh, maybe like myself, you know, only recently got into the hobby, um, my only advice could be is get yourself a good hobby shop, guys. Um, you know, you can obviously purchase a lot of this online. The problem with online is getting hold of someone for a bit of technical help. I've I've needed a lot of um, a lot of pointers with the electrics mainly. Uh, I'm not I'm not fantastic with electrics. I, I do struggle a little bit with getting my head around it, but that's the process of learning, guys. You know, we all we all got to learn somewhere, um, and I'm learning very hard with this one. Um, and you know, I picked up how to solder with Jason over Redfin. Um, you know, he's gone through quite a lot of things with me and his team uh, over there. Um, so yeah, best thing to do guys is get yourself a good hobby shop. When you do these builds, have someone that you can speak to, you know, instead of putting it down and picking it up six months time, seven months time, eight months time, go speak to your hobby shop. They, they, they won't look at you in, in a different manner. They, they all know that everyone's trying and everyone's learning. So um, I've now passed the area where I was really struggling. So hopefully now I know where I'm at with electrics and full steam ahead. And uh, 
hopefully we'll see this baby out working very soon. So uh, thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you in a minute.